hey y'all welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while but i am back with a new video y'all today we are making a lote chicken wings keep watching here's the ingredients that we'll be using today and i'll be sure to include all the ingredients in the description bar below but first we want to start with some clean dry chicken that we're going to drizzle with some olive oil So now we're going to lightly season our chicken with some kosher salt, smoked paprika, and chili powder. Feel free to use garlic powder, onion powder if you want, black pepper. Um, if you want it a little spicier, of course, you can use more chili powder and things like that. But I'm using about a tablespoon to a half a tablespoon of each ingredient, maybe a little less salt, um, because the tahini that we'll be using um, to coat our chicken later on is a very salty season so we don't want to oversalt our chicken so once we get the season added we're going to go ahead and give that a toss we want to make sure that all of our chickens are fully seasoned and have all of that flavor on there okay so i use my air fryer for everything so i'm just going to go ahead and preheat the air fryer to 400 degrees and then in the meantime while we're preheating our um air fryer we're going to kind of cut our toppings so i have a small jalapeno that i'm going to slice into um small strips or just bite-sized pieces you can definitely do them in slices like this or you can cut the slices in half or if you want you can definitely dice them i just did a rough chop on my um, jalapenos And I'm only chopping a half of jalapeno. Of course, the more the spicier, you know. So if you want to do a full one or even two to spice those chicken wings up, baby, do your thing. So now we're going to take a bunch of cilantro and we're going to just roughly chop that cilantro just like this. Make sure you don't cut your fingers off, y'all. Just chopping it up and just a quick tip y'all if your cutting board slides you can definitely always put a damp paper towel under it okay so now that we have everything chopped up we're going to go ahead and put our chicken wings in our air fryer in a single layer uh, we don't want to overcrowd the air fryer of course we want to make sure that everything gets nice and crisp our chicken added in our air fryer we're going to go ahead and cook our chicken for about 35 to 40 minutes um, cooking them evenly on both sides of course um, so this is what our chicken looks like after about 16 to 17 minutes they're looking pretty good so we're going to go ahead and flip them over so that we're able to cook the other side for the same amount of time for so about another 16 to 17 minutes chicken is now finished we cooked it for about 37 to 38 minutes it is nice and brown and it's nice and crispy just like we like it so we're just going to go ahead and get those chickens added into a nice mixing bowl so 
So now we're gonna add the juice of half of a lime and we're just going to pour that over our chicken wings. And then once we get that added, we're going to add about a third of a cup of mayonnaise. I'm using Duke's mayonnaise, but you can definitely use any type of mayonnaise that you use. This is just my go-to. Okay, so now that we have our mayonnaise added, we're gonna go ahead and give our chickens a nice toss. And I am struggling trying to toss my chicken around. I got one that's one away from me. But you know, we're gonna get it done. So we're gonna go ahead and mix our chicken around. We want it to be evenly coated with the mayonnaise. And we're just going to toss it around just like this. All right, so once we get done tossing our chicken around, it should look something like this. These actually look pretty good. Everything looks fully coated and everything like that. So now we're going to add our tahini seasoning and I'm only using maybe about a teaspoon or two of that tahini. It is a very salty seasoning like mentioned earlier. So we don't want to oversalt our um, chicken. So in addition to that, we're going to go ahead and add that chopped cilantro that we had in there and then our cotilla cheese. Cotilla cheese. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Let me know in the comments, but I'm gonna add that cotilla cheese and then we're going to give that a nice toss as well. going to add in some of our jalapenos and I'm not adding them all right now I just want to kind of toss these around and then the rest of them we're going to use for garnish and look how good these look out these are actually finished so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get these plated up we're going to add some more of that smoked paprika and some more chili powder we're going to add the rest of those jalapenos on the top y'all and we're going to we're going to enjoy these thank you guys so much for watching make sure that you comment like and subscribe bye